Hello everyone. Okay, so let's talk about variable naming rules, right? So when you're naming your variables, there are certain rules we have to follow. Otherwise, otherwise we're going to get problems or errors in our in our code. All right. So in the last video, we looked at a simple variable. Um, one one variable that we created was full name, right? And we set it equal to uh, string. So I'm going to use uh, a shorter version of my name, K, right? Just to keep it simple. So with this, once we go ahead and print out what's stored in full name. It's, it's going to be able to just print out the string K for us. So everything is working. Now, so there are some rules um, we have to consider when we are creating our variables. First of all, variable names can't have spaces. So when I put a space in between this full name and I try to run it, I'm going to get a problem. I'm going to get a syntax error over here. It's, it's trying to say, what, what is this? It doesn't like spaces and variables. So I'm going to get an error. So no spaces in variables. I'm going to remove the space, run this again. And we can see K has been printed over here. All right, so that's one thing you have to look out for. Another thing is we can't use keywords, what are called um, keywords in Python. Okay, special reser reserved words in Python that we can't use. It's only be it, it only uh, is, is allowed to be used by Python. We can't use them. And I'll provide to you a list of all these keywords so that you know and get used to them. You you will know them once you keep coding. You just know them, and you know that um, you can't use them. And you get an error over here too, telling you that you can't use this as a variable name. So examples of keywords are going to be something like break, the keyword break. Now you can see that this Wing 101 ID is trying to help you by color coding this. So this is I don't know if you can see, it, but this is like a blue black color. And this is black, right? So I'm going to remove the, the letter K at the end of this break, and you see that the color will change from what, what it is now, which is blue, or I think purple, whatever it is, to black. So I'm going to do that. Just watch. You can see that this font, B R E A, it's not a reserved word, and that's why it's black. But as soon as it's a reserved word, the color changes. So I'm going to add a K and watch. It changed to like a blue. Let me just remove it so you can see the color difference. Blue, black, blue, black, right? So Wing 101 is doing a good job of letting you know that, hey, there's something wrong with this. This is a reserve word, and you can't use it. So syntax error when I move the cares cares over it. So you can't use words like that. There's another word for F-O-R. You can't use it as um, the keyword. Let's, uh, let me just cross-check with that one. Yes. And you can't use um, other keywords. So I'll, I'll, I'll provide a link to um, all the keywords in Python so you, so you get used to them. So you can't have spaces. You can't use keywords. So let's go back to full name. So this was working. We could see K. All right. So the very first character of your variable name, all right, also has some uh, certain things we have to consider. So the very first character of your variable name, it can be anything from, from the lowercase a to uh, um, lowercase a to z, right? So I can use anything a, b, lowercase a to z right uppercase a to b also sorry a to z also so i can use I can change this to full name with a capital f run this and it'll still work so oops i'm now printing <laughs> i'm now printing now we'll get back to this uh i'm now printing full name with, with a lowercase f which brings us to another point which we'll talk about okay they are case sensitive so let's just change this to F, or better still, let's just comment out this line so that it doesn't exist. It becomes just a line that doesn't exist. And let's just talk about um, the variable rules, right? So I'm just we're just declaring variables now. When I run this, I'm just declaring a variable. This code is not running; it becomes a comment. All right. So the first first character has to be anywhere from lowercase a to z, uppercase a to z, right? Or an underscore only, or an underscore. So these are the only things that can you can have as the first, very, very first character, the very first letter of your variable. That's it. If you try to use anything other than that, like let's say a percentage sign, run it, we have an error, syntax error. But if I change it to anything, lowercase a to z, uppercase a to z, or, the, or an underscore, it works well, like that. All right, I'll remove it. Uppercase f is fine. All right, after your very first character, anything that follows your first character can be a lowercase a to z, uppercase a to z you can even have numbers 
in between. Now this is after your first character. You can even have numbers. So I can have a number in here as 8, run it, and it'll still work. But you can't have a number start your variable. You can't. If I try, let's say, 7, I'm going to get an error, right? All right, so I'm taking this back to, oops, full name. But I can have a number. After my first character, I can have lowercase a to z, uppercase a to z. I can have a number. And I can have underscores in between, underscores, you know, in between also. But I can't have anything else apart from that. If I put, let's say, an, um, a percentage sign in, in between and run it, we have an error. So after your first character, you can have a to z, lowercase a to z, uppercase a to z, and an underscore like this. And this should be fine. All right. So back to this problem here. Over here, I declared a variable full name with a capital F, right? If I try to print out the content of full name with a lowercase f, I'm going to be in trouble because case, you know, variable names are case sensitive, meaning these two are different. They look the same full name, full name, right? But one starts with a capital F and one starts with a lowercase f, which makes them different because they are not the same case. They are not the same um, case, you know. So when I try to run this, it's going to complain and say that full name, which, which means this one, is not defined, meaning it does not exist. You may think you have it, but this is not it. This starts with a capital F, and this starts with a lowercase f. So this doesn't exist to the program, so it's complaining and saying, hey, what you are telling me to print out the content of does not exist, right? But as soon as I change this variable to a lowercase f, now full name exists. Full name with a lowercase f exists. Full name is k. I tell the program to print out the content of full name and I run it again. I need to I need to click it again. I see that K has been printed. So these are the rules with variables when you're um, naming them. All right. So just bear in mind and keep in mind of them. Um, I'll provide a list of the keywords so you can take a look at them and get used to the ones. But for the most for the most part when you're creating your variables, you wouldn't even use the keywords. But but it's just something that you have to keep note of. Okay, so if you have any questions, please comment down below. And as always, I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right then, bye-bye.